What's going on guys, Chris here. So today I'm back with another episode from the Uncle Buck series and we're just gonna be fishing this little lure right here. So these actually come in a pack of three, two with jig heads and one without, but I do have spare jig heads because I'm sure I'm gonna break off fishing these. So I'm gonna be fishing these at the Flint River today. I'm just gonna be walking up and down the banks and looking for little pools to throw into. Let's see if we can get on some fish. So I can see some fish down there. Something, they're attacking it. Oh, looks like they're just getting the legs. Shoot. That's what I was worried about with this lure was that they were just gonna be able to, they're gonna keep hitting these legs. I, would, <clears throat> I don't even know what this is really supposed to be. It looked like it would do well because of the action it would give. It is getting bit. Oh, something just had it. There's a whole bunch of sunfish down there. I'm trying to stay back so I don't spook them. There we go. Fish number one. Oh no. Oh. <sighs> Cast right after that man, fish number two. All right, so the cast right after that was able to actually catch another bluegill. This thing's pretty effective. Let's get the hook out and let him go. I can see a few. It's probably white bass, I think. Maybe they're not. I don't know, I can see some larger fish down there. I don't know if they're white bass or if they're just... These fish that I always see that eat algae. I don't know what they're called. Oh, so I just swiped that and ran with it. There we go. Oh. Nice bluegill, man. Nice dark bluegill. All right, just caught another bluegill. I actually just saw one fish drop this, and then, uh, then he came up and swiped that and grabbed it. I was able to catch him, but let's get him back in the water. Fish number three. And this water level is down so low. Oh, it's got hit. Knew something caught this. Oh, what is? Oh, nice. And I've caught this this the species this year. It's a rock bass or war mouth. If it's a war mouth, I've got this. If it's a rock bass, I haven't. Super pretty, man. I think it's a war mouth though. It's a war mouth from what I've been told, but it might be a rock bass. I'll have to ask one of my friends and see. Let's let him go.
Well guys, I managed to break off two of these already, so I'm down to my last one. On top of that, I forgot to delete the files off my GoPro, so I actually only have about 30 minutes left to record time. So what I'm going to do is walk down to the complete opposite end of this little trail and do some fishing down there until I either lose this or my GoPro dies. But so far, my initial thoughts are this thing works pretty well. I've actually been able to catch a few bluegill on this, as well as a warmouth. But uh, I'm going to get retied and keep going. Oh my gosh. I get bit. I miss it. There we go. Another bluegill. Alright, just got another blue guy out of here. One thing for sure is that they this does catch bluegill. So let's get this hook out and let him go. Shoot. Well guys, I just broke off the last one, so that's gonna be it for this outing. My overall thoughts on this is that I really enjoyed fishing with this lure. It seems pretty effective. I did catch a bunch of bluegill and I was able to catch one warmouth. Anyways, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic week. Subscribe if you haven't. Tight lines, take care.